Okay, so it's now time to fit the aileron servos. Now I've got uh, a six gram servo in there. The other one I used a five gram servo like that. Um, you don't really need a big nine gram servo in there. So I've used six gram servos, these. Now I've cut the, the lugs off because I don't need them. And I've also resoldered myself a new cable on there because I want it 300 millimeters long. So I've unsoldered the old one and put a servo extension lead on and soldered it in. So that has now got a long lead in there and that's a long lead so that it reaches in, into the cockpit area. So, all you need to do, make sure that your servo is centered first, because so, once it's fitted into the wing and it's not centered, you're going to struggle. So, get one of these little things, check that your servo works correctly, okay, and check that the arm, hopefully you can see that, is in the center position okay now the other thing you want to do is make sure that they're opposite to each other so as you can see my arm is right at the front I've got that in front so this one has to be the same that way yeah you don't want it that way around if that makes sense so make sure you've got your servo arm correctly and you've got it in that way mark it up there now just get a felt tip pen draw around it and cut a small depth you don't want it too deep make sure that you don't want to come out the other side so I've got mine about five mil ten mil back just about there going up to the line that's my servo head So hopefully that you can see that on the camera. So that is the section that I'll be cutting out. And I'll just cut that into little cubes, pull it out, and then maybe finish off with a solder nine to get a nice smooth finish. And then from that line there, I will just cut a thin groove into it with a Stanley knife. For the servo wire to go into, so not too deep, just like that. And then cut it into little cubes, so it, lots of little slices, but remember don't want to go too deep and then once you've gone that way same with the pocket area okay now the messy part get a pair of pliers, don't go too deep, and just pull little cubes out, okay, and say so you don't want to go too deep, just deep enough for the servo to go in, okay, so I'm going to carry on doing that, and when it's done, I'll have a slice down there, servo arm will go in there, and it'll look like that one, and then you can glue it in, but again, before you glue it in, make sure that the servo arm will move it's full travel and doesn't foul up so you cut more out if you need to once you're happy with it then glue it okay so i've cut my little pocket out there and we've used a soldering iron just to smooth out and straighten that out i've used a stanley knife with a steel ruler to cut a little groove down there so i just put the ruler against it and cut it so now it's a case of put some glue on it and put it in now at the top okay so I'm just gonna put that in there 
and how I do that is just slightly bend the foam outwards and that will allow you to get a little gap just to get it in. Or I could try to do it on camera. Look, there you go, you get the idea. There you go. So that's uh, nice and neat in there. Okay, so I'm going to connect both my servos on. And check they both work. And go. So now I can put the glue in there. Right, so I'll carry on with the rest of the build. Okay, so now that the servos are glued into place, I've made a small hole through that section there, just to get my wires through temporary while I glue the bottom bit on. So now I can use the front part. So now I've got it lined up like that. It's just a case of hot melt glue the bottom on. So here we go. There we go. And you've got to rush it. There you go. Then hold that in place till it cools. Okay, so the trailing edge here, I've just used some coloured packing tape to cover up the bare balsa wood. And as you can see, it took me a couple of times to figure out, I couldn't remember where it was. It's 25 mils from the top on the centre line to put in the tailplane. So, measure 25 mil, put your stake through. I'm going to use some hot melt glue to glue that on now. But this is one of those things you probably have to do quite quick. Let me just Hopefully I don't make too much of a mess of it. <laughs> Ouch. There we go. And because I've glued that end already, that sorts everything else out. And you can see it's further out on the tailplane and further in. And that's to give me some reflex, give me some up. Because normally on flying wings you need to give it some reflex. There you go, that's quite good. Now all I need to do now is chop those off and uh, put their ailerons on. So I'm going to put the, measure the ailerons, get them on cover in red. Okay, so now it's time to think about how I'm going to get the cockpit to stay on. So I've routed the cables through to the cockpit area for the servos. I've uh, channeled out that area, as a result that won't stay on, so I've come up with an idea that hopefully will work, 
and that is to use these type of hinges here I haven't got two of those okay I've only got loads of those and one of those but my idea is to put that into there and into there that will then hinge up I'll drill out that center pin put one in there and one in there and then that should just hinge down and then I can just put a pin in that bit right so looking at the center lines a little dot there and there and we'll just hot melt a hole through and hopefully that will go in hopefully that's the right thickness okay do it on the other side I'm quick with this but not there's the centre bit. Oh, so here we go. Hopefully that's straight and hopefully it'll cool down and stay at that point. What I'm aiming to get is that hinge line being right on the hinge line. There you go, that's better for me. Right, put some hot milk glue on that side. I'll have to cut this little edge out and get a better knife. Yeah, no point in messing with blunt blades, you'll only make it worse. Make sure you've got a nice sharp blade. Right, I'm going to chop. bit off that bit just test it before I put any glue in there there we go that's what I'm after so I'll go and put some hot melt glue in there hopefully I don't foul up this hinge ok here we go Now I'm going to hold that in position. I'm hoping that glue is not going to foul up. The hinge. So I'm using the cold blade, cold blade to cool the, the glue down. Oh perfect, look at that. Okay so cockpit is now secure and I'll just show you how I did it. So that, that is not going to come off at all. And the way it works is a little piece of copper wire is bent in a way that it follows the crease of this uh, cockpit line and so it can't come out. Okay the way to release it is to turn it up, turn it out and now it literally just hinges out. So there's the battery and the receiver all fits nicely into the cockpit. Let's put it back, line it up, put the pin back in or the copper wire back in, rotate it through, it then locks in that crease. And that is it, balance wise on the tip the wings like that, hopefully you can see that on the camera. That's it, all ready for its uh, maiden flight. Alright, catch you on the slopes guys. Probably a bit strong for this little uh, 200 gram lightweight. 200 gram. <laughs> 
Yeah. I've got 200 grams of ballast in. Alright, and a strong wind now, isn't it? Yeah. My little one. <laughs> 